Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about um, the freeze and unfreeze shapes command that's available inside of the Cadence PCB tools. It's available in all levels of the tools um, and gives you the capability to effectively to lock a shape or freeze a shape. Um, so you can make edits to the design or, or you might be very specific about what you want to do with the shape. And, and it gives you that capability um, for that shape to be frozen. So it works in a similar method to the static shape, except that it's not a static shape, so it can then be updated. Um, so if we just go through some of the shape capabilities, um, so by default, when you look at a shape, if you go to add a shape and we look at the options pane, you can add kind of a dynamic copper shape, and you can add a crosshatch dynamic copper shape, and these will update automatically when you drop vias in, and I'll give you an example of that in a minute. Then there's like a static solid and a static crosshatch, and these effectively will, will not change at all. Uh, and you manually have to void those shapes. Um, use, if you're doing a lot of RF shapes, maybe potentially, or, or some shapes that you don't specifically want to have changes to them. Um, the freeze shape is, is slightly different to that. So if we look at, um, let's just turn on maybe the ground plane, for example. You can see I've effectively got this, I've got two planes. I've got kind of the, the main ground plane, and I've got this, this other plane for a ground earth in here. And I might maybe don't want to modify the thickness of this shape, um, because of the, the way it makes the connection. But I need to kind of come up here and draw some wires. So we'll drop some wires. So, so let's see what happens if we freeze the shape. Um, before we do that, if I just do an add connect, so you see with the dynamic shape, obviously when I double click and add a wire, it automatically creates the clearance or the void um, from that wire in the, in the copper plane, um, which is what you kind of expect from a default behavior. Um, so let's just oops that. And then what we'll do is we'll use the shape and the free shapes command and then we'll click on the shape we want to freeze. And you can see straight away, I get that notification in the command window. And if we hover over the shape now, let's get the edge of the shape. Now make sure we've got shapes enabled. So if we hover over the shape, you can see it says it's frozen. If I hover over this shape, it's just a shape auto generate. Okay, let's go and do some routing. So we'll add connect and we will window select those connections there. And up a little bit. And we'll Add some wires. Uh, let's just drop the wire there. And you can see um, I get a DRC, obviously the one where the shape wasn't frozen, it's making a void. Um, let me just continue the routing over there for now. But the ones that are going to cause an issue effectively get this, this, uh, this issue because the shape is frozen. Now, for me to unfreeze this shape, what I can do is use the shape unfreeze shape command, click on the, the shape that I want to unfreeze or unfreeze. Yeah, that's right. Um, and then effectively this shape is now uh, back to being a normal dynamic shape. And then we can use the, the check design status or the display status. What we'll do is we'll just update that to smooth and you can see that the, the voids are then created. So I'd probably in this scenario, I'd have to slide these wires out of the way to, to make my ground earth a good copy. 